most overrated player in the interest of fair and balanced journalism. Defense first. Defense first? And we're talking most overrated. Javon be Hargrave. Because if you don't go there, I'm going there. All right, I was going to say Javon Hargrave. Mm. You're challenging that's, me, Grant. That's low-hanging fruit me. at this point. Yeah, I don't know. No, that's because that's... I can, I can that's, beat that's, that. I know, that's a weak... You just made me feel weak because... You, I can beat that, yeah. The way you prefaced it was, don't make me go there because I tried to be nice. Yeah. Mm. Nick Bosa. It's the answer. Nick Bosa. Yeah. Ah! It's what why, it is. We don't have to make it personal, bro. but it's, it's the oh, truth. It's not personal. It's not personal. Not personal. Nope. But I mean, I just, he's not right on time, right? You know, he's just, he's not an on time guy. Like, he leads just, the team in missed tackles this season. Dude, the amount of times he misses contain on RPOs or crashed or or crashes down on fakes is remarkable. And I don't know if that's his job. He does it so often. I'm like, is that something like that he's just supposed to do all the time? Uh, the play where <laughs> Christian McCaffrey, not Christian McCaffrey, but uh, Kyler Murray, 50 yards up the sideline, goes right past Nick Bosa. Uh, yeah. The pass rush. I mean, at this stage, we're always talking. What's what's the number one like embedded uh, line for the defensive line? And I feel like, in a way, it's an excuse for Nick Bosa that everybody loves to say. What is it, Grant? It's man, if we could just get another defensive in to help to 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 find uh, to find out what we can do with Nick Bosa because be if we can find it'd be over if we could just find another defensive end that could help out Nick Bosa on the other side so and the, and the inference is what he's getting double teamed he's yeah. he's there's no way that he can really get get broken loose because everybody else is just so bad it's like I, there's no there there, bro. Like, I get it. He's super in shape. Um, but the leadership angle, uh, I don't I don't I, I don't see enough of like him him he's being the reason why he's <laughs> what else do you want me to say about him, bro? Yeah, like, like he looks good in his pads. He looks very good in his pads. He's not uh, nearly as productive as he used to be, and he like is either coming up short or whiffing a lot, like pressures but no sacks, missed tackles, and a kind of blase attitude about the whole thing. Yeah. Hey, look, man. It is what I. It is what it is, man. Nick, he needs to be more dynamic. He is overrated, especially because of the money. Quite honestly, you know. And to be honest, he really doesn't have a big digital footprint. I mean, not now, not as of late, but usually he likes to stay under the radar. He's not that much of like. A bother so yeah. you know you but it's just honestly for me it's it's not you're overrated because of like like your persona it's like you're overrated because of how much money you make bro you make 34 million dollars a year you know you should be you should be the reason why offenses are like yo we're playing against nick bosa today you're the closer you've been getting, you getting handled bro seriously you're the closer you're supposed to be the guy who has the i mean chris jones is the closer for the the Chiefs, like the guy who makes the play in the fourth quarter when it's close. Where is Bosa? What's that, what's that kid's name? That tackle out of uh, Seattle, like F Stone Forsyth. Like he's like one of the worst rated tackles in the in the NFL. And that's what Nick had. Like that's the only time Nick Bosa looked like Nick Bosa was the third was the Thursday night game in Seattle, right? Like where he went off and you went against a horrible tackle. Like and th that's the stuff that I look out, look out for. Like, what did Nick Bosa do against it, in the Chiefs? You know, what did Nick Bosa do against uh, a very good offensive line in Minnesota? Right. And what did he do in the fourth quarter against the Cowboys when when they were going up and down the field? Dak and and CD and the Niners were like hanging on for dear life. Like that's supposed to be where he steps up and says like, oh, this is why I make quarterback enough play. is enough. This, yeah, I, this is what I do. Oh, you're gonna pass all the time because you're down seventeen. Like I'm gonna have three sacks in a quarter. We'll see that from him. He'll yeah, have a nice sack in like the first quarter. 
I'm, I, yo, I, you're goaded for making me go there. Like at first, I no one ever criticizes him. this guy ever. That's true. That's true. That's true. We do. We do leave him alone. But we leave. Ah, ah. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> it's weird, bro. You know why it's weird? It's weird, bro. He's overrated, bro. He is. Okay. He was. Yeah. He was great in his rookie deal. He hasn't been the same player since he got paid. Okay. Attention to detail, urgent. When Kyle's talking about that, he might as well be talking about Nick Bosa personally. True. Urgency, attention to detail. Mm -hmm. You, Mister leading the team in, in missed tackles. Okay, offense. Offense, most overrated guy on offense. I'm going bigger than you. You're not. <laughs> okay, we're on you're the same not page. gonna. We're on the same. You're page. Not. Trent Williams. Yes. Trent Williams was going to... Yes. He's overrated, bro. And he's, it's um, not like he's bad. He's not bad. He's not bad. But people he's act like he's though. the greatest left tackle in the league right now. I don't even... I mean, is he a top 20 offensive lineman in the league right now? He's top 15. Okay. But he's not... I mean, PFF, bro, let me tell you something, man. Like, PFF, they're a weird bunch of characters over there uh, with the grades and what they see and what they don't see, um, yeah. which is fine. Uh, in my opinion, Trent Williams is still a one-of-one one athlete, and that's what he's always been. All right, full stop. Uh, Trent Williams could have played anything. She could have played tight end, defensive end. Yeah. Uh, outside, he could have did it all. But for me, uh, he's just out of shape, and he's just not himself. And I feel as though that one of the biggest things that you're starting to see is um, Trent going out in open space, getting disengaged by linebackers, defensive uh, defensive backs, safeties. Um, and I think it's just getting a little longer in the tooth. Um, right now, for the money that we gave him, it's not going to be a favorable deal. I, I don't see it happening. Um, as the season comes on, we'll see what he looks like coming out of the bye. But for what it's worth, uh, we'll see what's going to happen when those best when the best defenses come to see us. I mean, when, against Minnesota, Trent was on skates, had a very hard time. Same against the Chiefs. Uh, he's had a long time um, throughout the season to get in shape and to kind of get back to a certain level of play. But for me, it's been Trent. Um, I, I think that for what it's worth, Trent's been playing like maybe a top 12, top 15 tackle in the league um, for the money that he's got. And on top of it being guaranteed and his age, uh, I just don't see it being um, worth the, uh, uh, the bang for its buck. You can get a young guy in there that can do what Trent's doing right now. You know what he looks like to me? A 36-year-old offensive tackle. Yeah. Who, who, who's great, but he's still 36. Yeah. So. 